We are back with an epic unboxing video. Oh my gosh, guys, we have two designer bags. One of them is literally a dream Chanel bag that I cannot believe I have managed to get for the price that I paid. We've also got some designer shoes, some designer fashion, and I cannot wait to see what you think. Hey everyone, my name is Steph. If you are new to this channel, I love all things luxury. You, my friend, are in exactly the right place. Make sure you join us by hitting the subscribe button and the bell down below. Unboxing videos, these have to be some of my most favorite videos to create for obvious reasons, and that is that I love unboxing new luxury pieces. Um, this one, like I said, two bags, uh, two pairs of footwear actually, and quite a few pieces of fashion. So um, I have very much got swept into the whole sale at the minute, and there are some key pieces that I have had my eye on for a while that have gone into sale, I will pop links to everything that I mentioned in the description box down below. They've gone into sale and I have decided to purchase them. So we'll be unboxing them together. I'll be giving you like my first verdict. I'll be trying the stuff on so you can see what it's actually like and what sizes um, I ordered. With no further ado, let's dive in. We are going to be starting with the first designer bag. We'll be unboxing the Chanel at the end. Okay, guys, so make sure you stay tuned. The first bag though is from an amazing brand that I hadn't heard of before until recently and I am very excited to receive this piece. I would like to say a huge thank you to Mitra for sponsoring this part of today's video and providing the bag that we are now going to unbox. Here we go, the packaging is beautiful. This box is so sturdy from Merta. On the side it says from Italian artisans to you. I'm loving that touch there. So let's open the box. Oh, here we go. It says hashtag Mitra people now. So you can hashtag and show off your new piece. Luxury made by people, not brands. I love that. It's such a personal touch. Here we go. We've got a Murta dust bag. This is a really great quality dust bag. I love all these little details when it comes to buying luxury items. It definitely makes a difference. So this is the Elvera bag and I got this in a mock croc. Wow guys, it is stunning. I'm actually blown away. Like the colours are so nice. Like this is such a fantastic neutral. We have feet on the bottom of the bag to protect it. We have a little turn lock. We've got an oversized top handle, a feature that I absolutely love. We've got some cards in here. So this is made in Italy. We've also got a detachable crossbody slash shoulder strap, which is adjustable, guys. You know, they've thought of everything here. These clip on to the bag, but just look at the beautiful detail. This is faux croc again. And it's so, so nice. A few more cards in here. And inside it is leather lined with a beautiful like nude color. We have a little plaque on the back. We have a zipper pocket inside. You could put your phone card holder inside there to keep it safe, but this is a really great size. Um, so let's clip on the detachable strap. So you have these additional hoops on top of the bag. This is great because when you actually wear it cross body, it's not gonna distort the bag in any way. Like it's going to hold it nicely from the top. I really love that. I'm completely blown away. Now it also comes in a variety of colors. I am loving the Dove Gray with the gold hardware. They, this, like this bag is just so beautiful. It has such a fantastic structure and the size of it is absolutely perfect. Let me show you what this looks like on. Here it is. As you can see, the color is gorgeous. So I've just teamed this with a simple black top and some camel colored trousers to show you how versatile this bag is. It will go because it's a neutral with so many different looks. This could be a perfect work bag as well, but I'm just loving because we've got the mock croc, we've got different tones in here of like a, a darker brown. We've got like a latte color with the gold. It works perfectly. This is it as a shoulder bag. You can adjust this strap so you can make it longer. Same uh, when you wear it cross body, you can adjust this and make it a bit longer or shorter as to whatever height you need. I am loving this, it's so comfortable to wear. If you want to add a beautiful piece, a bag, they also have other accessories from Italian artisans shipped directly to you from Merta. Make sure you head over to the site. I will pop a link down below. And uh, they have let me know there is going to be a big sale on from July the 12th to the 26th. And guys, they have given me a discount code to give to you for an extra 10% off. Works on full price and also sale items. It is Handbagholic 10. 
There are some beautiful pieces over there. Again, not just bags, they do have some other leather accessories. Everything is made in Italy and the quality is superb. So make sure you head over there and use my 10% off discount code. Thank you so much again to Mercer for sponsoring this part of today's video. I am truly blown away by the quality of the craftsmanship on this beautiful, beautiful bag. And I'd definitely be adding some more to my collection. Next up, we are going to be unboxing a few pieces from Matches Fashion. I love Matches for their packaging. Like I ordered from them many, many years ago and it is a brand that I constantly go back to. If you haven't been on the Matches site, I will link it down below. So first up, we have this white Jackie Mousse Bahia blouse, which I will show you on in a second because unboxing them, they never look like amazing because obviously they've just been creased in a box. This is my favorite blouse from Jackie Mousse. Next, we have a bikini. So I ordered this purely because I've never ordered from this particular brand before, but I will link it down below, purely because the color is sensational. Look at this orange now. I can tell straight away this probably isn't going to fit. I ordered a size small. Um, I probably would need a medium. Um, also the bikini top feels quite rigid. Uh, so I will try that on and see. Now under here, we have something from Chloe. Now this something from Chloe is something that I have had my eye on for quite some time and it went into sale on the Matches website. So I decided to go for it. Here we are. You might be able to tell already this is a piece of footwear. We've got the dust bags here for the shoes, which is a very nice touch. I love that luxury shoes come with these. And here we go. This is the Chloe Woody sandal. I got them in, I believe this is called white, even though it's a slight off white, but it has a shearling trim. Now, the reason I did go for the shearling trim, number one, it was in sale and I think it looks really nice. But number two, some people said that the sandal can be, it can rub across the top of your foot, but I figured with the shearling, maybe it won't really do that. It should be more comfortable. I am a UK size five or 4.5. I ordered these in a five. So true to size, um, 38. And I'm gonna try them on in a second so you, that you can see, but they definitely seem like they are true to size slash borderline too small. So I think the advice with the woody sandals is to go up a half a size or a whole size for these. Okay, so I did try the bikini on. Um, I ordered a size small and honestly, it just feels too small. The top feels too rigid as well. I love the color. I think it's a super fashionable piece, um, but just because of how rigid the top is, and also I would say for me, it is definitely on the smaller side. The Jackie Mousse Bahia blouse in white is everything that I hoped it would be. It is so, so beautiful. Uh, when it comes to a classic, like a white shirt, black shirt, I really like a twist on classics and I feel like Jackie Moose do one of the best. So these blouses are quite an investment. I think I paid about 260 something pounds for the white one. That is in sale. I believe they're about 350 normally. So they are quite an investment, but I know the quality of them is incredible and it will last me the longest time. Okay, so next with the Chloe uh, sliders in shearling, um, my first thoughts to these I'm just gonna be super super honest. I have wanted the woody sandals for so long and I've just never taken the plunge with them And when I saw that these shearling ones went into the sale, I was instantly like I don't know if I will keep them because I've always said I would never buy um, some shearling designer shoes because you can't wear them in the rain like if it rains like that This is not going to be good and if it's hot. Do you really want your foot on like shearling it's surely it's just going to get like sweaty like it's it's just not like a good fabric for a shoe but everything was selling out so quickly i always find that on the matches site like stuff does sell out quickly so i just decided to order them and i think i think i'm going to return them i will say i ordered a size five these are a size five these are 38 which is uk5 and i they do come up quite small they fit they fit um, but my foot is nearing the edge. I probably could go up half a size in these so I could go to a 5.5, but sometimes I'm like a 4.5. So yeah, these do come up slightly small. They also feel very rigid. Like you can't really bend them, which is probably a, a good thing. Like a good, they do feel like good quality uh, slides, but yeah, it's just the whole shearling element for me. Does anyone else do that? You know, sometimes you just order it knowing that maybe it'll go back, but you just don't want to miss out. That is what these are. Next up, I have ordered some pieces from my Teresa. 
Here we go, I can finally unbox this. The packaging is beautiful. I will say, I paid for premium delivery and it took well over a week for this to arrive. So slightly disappointed in that, but I am very impressed with the packaging. So I guess on this occasion, it was worth the wait. There's an extra delay because of the sale. And both of these pieces I'm about to show you are in the My Teresa sale. Opening up this beautiful box and I told, oh, I told you I love the Bahia blouse, guys. So I ordered another one. <laughs> this is orange. I could not resist. So we've got white and we've got orange now. I feel like I've got most bases covered. I'll show you it on in a second. And I also ordered these Varley joggers. I've not heard of Varley before, but I'm actually really liking some of their stuff. I feel like I, I want some joggers, you know, for around the house when I'm working from home. And also if I decide to do some yoga outside. You know, when you become obsessed with something, the Jackie Moose Bahia blouse is that for me. As soon as I saw this in the orange, I knew I had to order it. I waited for it to go into sale. Um, definitely made a good saving. Obviously, these are still quite the investment. I now have the black, white, and the orange. So um, I've definitely got an obsession with this. I'm definitely done now. I feel like I've got all bases covered with this blouse. But honestly, like it's such a great blouse to wear. Like if you can team it with a pair of like jeggings, leggings, jeans, uh, put a little crop top underneath. I just think they are so beautiful. And the orange is just wow. I'm also loving the joggers that I got. They are super, super comfortable. And now that I'm at home a lot, I work from home, you know, I'm not filming every single day. It is nice to have a few more luxurious pieces. Um, these weren't too expensive. I think they're about 60 pounds, just less than 60 pounds in the sale uh, to wear around the house. Now let's unbox what I got from Farfetch, including this sale Fendi purchase. Again, I will link down below. Uh, hopefully they will still be available if you like the look of them. Uh, Farfetch is one of my favorite luxury sites, so I'm very excited for this. I always love a Farfetch purchase in the Farfetch box, and they usually, items come with a black dust bag as well. And here we have something from Fendi. Fendi in the sale. I am living for this. Um, a piece of footwear again. So we've got the dust bag for each individual shoe. And here we go. This is a summer shoe because I am desperate for some kind of luxury, like designer, higher end sandal. I quite like the dad sandal and I feel like these are a good vibe, but they are much more reasonable than say a Chanel dad sandal. And I'm liking that not everyone else will have these. I'm loving them. They're like, they've got the Fendi Zucker logo on in the tobacco colorway. And it's like a scrunchy soft fabric. It has a Velcro fastening. You can just, you know, when you see a shoe and you just know it's not gonna cause you any problems. Like they're going to be so comfortable. That is why I ordered these as well as the fact they were in sale. I'm not sure if they are now back at full price, but either way, I would highly recommend they are absolutely gorgeous. You can see like the quality of the sole. I got these in a 37 and a half. I'm normally about a 37 and a half to a 38. Um, so I kind of downsize if you will half a size. So that's I find with Fendi, if you downsize half a size. These have got to be like the cutest sandals and honestly the most comfortable when it comes to shoes in general i often gravitate towards trainers because i find they are just the most comfortable shoe and i i do have like sandals and stuff like that that are quite comfortable um, but a lot of them don't have the proper foot and arch support so if you wear anything too flat kind of like the chloe woody they're, they're just completely flat there's no like arch support for your foot they can become quite painful um these however because they are, I don't know if you can see this, they are actually like raised here so that you can get some grip with your toes and they are also kind of ergonomically shaped. So um, yeah, these are so, so comfortable and I'm really loving just the Fendi Zucker print in general, especially in this tobacco color. Um, you might have seen recently on my channel, I unboxed some Fendi Vertigo slip-ons, um, which, are really, really beautiful. They aren't the most comfortable shoe though, but I do feel like I still need to break them in. However, I don't think there's going to need, like these aren't going to need any breaking in period. Uh, this fabric is soft. It's like a, a soft scrunchie. We've got Velcro on here, so they're adjustable. Um, yeah, I'm really happy with this one. So these were in sale. Linked down below if you are interested in purchasing them. Uh, any kind of designer shoe is often a big investment. Um, so it is always great to make an extra saving. 
Now I didn't film the unboxing of this, but I also need to show you this Olympia dress that I got from Farfetch. This was about 450 pounds and it was reduced down to 120. Plus I got an extra 10% off with uh, my 10% off code. So it was like 100 pounds and it's just the most sensational yellow dress. You tie it at the back, but because I wanted a bit more shape from it, I actually tied it around the front. I went down two sizes. So I was actually worried that this wouldn't fit, but I got a Brazil size 34. I should have taken a 38, so two sizes bigger, but I feel like this fits perfectly. And the part that I know you've all been waiting for, my new Chanel bag unboxing. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to see this. Now, this is pre-loved and I ordered it on eBay. I took a risk, so I'm, I'm you know, holding my breath right now, guys. Wow. Okay. First impression is good. Oh my gosh. This is a vintage square like classic flap style bag. Um, I have had the rectangle, but I've never had the square. And I got this in patent leather, which is a leather that I have never had before from Chanel. Look at this. Oh my God, because this is vintage, this is plated with 24 karat gold. I can honestly say, I, I think the camera's picking this up. Look at the corners as well. We're in such good condition. Oh my gosh, I cannot believe this. I'm so happy. Um, the gold is just so bright and gold because it is plated. It has like a pocket on the back, which is gonna be perfect for my phone. This is actually quite a big bag. Um, it comes with a crossbody strap, which is my favorite way to wear a bag anyway. So I took the risk on this one. Wow, the photos on eBay did not do this justice. So any bag now over, I believe 500 pounds, $500. It, comes authenticated so in here we've got authenticity guarantee and it says it comes with like you can tap this with your mobile phone to find out more information but they've authenticated it and said that it is completely fine and authentic were you expecting this let me know in the comments no words this bag every now and then i love it when this happens every now and then you order something and it just completely blows you out the water like in every aspect like the quality how much you pay for it how beautiful it actually is the fact that the pictures that were taken of it do something no justice that is this bag Any of you who already watch my channel you will know i love chanel I do not have a classic flap in my collection um, because I prefer the vintage versions. Now, I have had two of the vintage versions. I have had the, I think it was the Jumbo in uh, black lambskin with gold hardware. These all come with 24 karat gold hardware plated, which you don't get on the new bags anymore. Um, and I just love the proportions of these bags a lot more. So I had that and then I also had a beige one which was slightly different. But the thing with lambskin is, I don't know, both of them were in okay condition but I just didn't love them. So I did decide to let them go. And then this one is the square as opposed to the full on rectangle bag. So the authentic authentication came back fine from eBay. Um, I then also got it authenticated by Zico. Um, I will link down below to the best authentication services. I kind of knew anyway, like you can just tell by the quality of a bag and just certain details. But yeah, patent leather. That That is a thing that I was like, mm, do I want the patent leather? I actually love it. I haven't got any patent in my collection and I think it's absolutely stunning. This bag is in really great condition considering it is nearly nearly 30 years old. I think this is from about 1993. And yeah, the quality of the vintage Chanel bags, it really does. It really does surpass um, the, the modern versions of the bag, I have to admit. Like, it just feels so, so sturdy. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous bag. Um, I did clean it up as soon as I got it with some leather cleanser, and that really helped to kind of just wipe a layer of dirt off the bag. So this is why I love eBay. The pictures did not do this bag justice. How much did I pay? I don't know how this happened. I paid 1,200 pounds for this bag. If you want a Chanel Classic flap today, I believe it's something around this size, which would be the equivalent of about a jumbo. I think you're looking at about 7,000 pounds. So I paid like, you know, a seventh, just over a seventh of the price potentially for this absolute beauty. So do you know what? The idea around this bag was I just took a risk and I was pretty sure that I wouldn't keep it, but there's like zero way this bag is going anywhere. I am so in love with it. I think it's actually one of my, most beautiful Chanel pieces in its own way. Like I love all my pieces, but just to show you, I've got my trendy here, which I absolutely love, okay? But the gold hardware on this, because it's 24 karat gold, is just so much brighter. And my trendy costs 4,700 pounds. This costs 1,200 pounds. Uh, they are both very similar bags. So um, yeah, I am over the moon with this. What do you guys think?
As mentioned at the start of the video, I have popped links to everything so that you can shop this video super easily in the description box down below. I would like to say a massive thank you to Mertra again for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you use my extra 10% off discount code. This works on sale and full price. It is Handbagholic. 10. Make sure you don't go anywhere because coming up next I will link my latest video release here for you and over here we are going luxury shopping in London. There is so much eye candy in this video guys, you don't want to miss it. Enjoy.